so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi. And look at what I'm doing! Yeah, I'm on a hike! Whoa! I've been hiking for a very long time today. Yeah, and I think I made it to the top of a mountain. Whoa, this mountain has a lot of bushes, shrubs, trees. Whoa, and really big rocks. So cool. Wow, I love going on hikes because you get out in nature, you smell the fresh air. <sighs> wow, and look at how high we are up here on the mountain. You can see so many mountains. Hello, mountains! Hello, mountains! Whoa, did you hear an echo? That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> oh. Look, do you see that? That looks like a big dome. Yeah, that must be where a telescope is. Yeah, today we're at Mount Wilson Observatory on Mount Wilson in California. And this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go explore. <laughs> This dome is massive! Wow, it is so big. There's definitely a telescope inside there. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a telescope is? Yeah, it's a piece of equipment used to peer out into outer space. You can see planets, you can see stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> yeah, the people that go into outer space are called astronauts. Yeah, but the people from Earth that study outer space are called astronomers. Today, you and I can be astronomers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that echo? Yeah, that's because we're in the dome. So cool. Yeah, and speaking of cool, yeah, check it out. This is the telescope. Oh, I sure do love that color. Yeah, it's the color blue. You already know. It's one of my two favorite colors. Whoa! Do you know how a telescope works? Yeah, basically, there's an opening up top, way up there. Some light enters, say from a star or a planet, and then it bounces off some mirrors, and then it goes to the eyepiece. Oh, the eyepiece? Yeah! Whoa. Check it out! Yeah, this is what you look through to see things at night with the telescope. Whoa! Yeah! Do you want to see what you could see with this exact telescope if it was nighttime? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, do you see that? That is the planet Saturn! Whoa! And I know it's Saturn because of all those colorful rings. So cool! Ooh, and what's that? Yeah! That's our planet Jupiter! That's the biggest planet in our solar system. Whoa, it's so big! Whoa! And it looks like Jupiter has a lot of moons! Wow! <laughs> yeah, planet Earth, we only have one moon. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Yeah, looks like Andromeda Galaxy! That is the closest galaxy to our galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way Galaxy. Whoa! Oh, and what's that? Ooh, Orion Nebula! Yeah, that is where all the stars are born in our galaxy. Whoa, <laughs> this telescope is awesome! And how it sees all these things in outer space, since they're in different locations, that means this telescope moves! <laughs> Maybe we can go to the control board and move the telescope ourselves! Yeah, let's go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, so many stairs! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Hi. I'm Blippi. 
What do Good you do here? Good to meet you. Here? I'm the telescope operator. Ooh, the telescope operator? Yes. So that means you push buttons to make the telescope go left, right, up, down? That's right. Wow. Why do you have a computer here, Tom? This uh, tells me the address of what I want to look at. If mm -hmm. I want to look at this star, uh -huh. it tells me where to look. Wow. That's really cool. He needs a computer to have the address of, say, a planet or a star, and that tells him where to point the telescope at. Right. Wow, that is really cool. And why do you have a clock way over there? Well, I have to tell the time. This is star time. Ooh, star time? Exactly. It's oh. called a sidereal clock. Ooh, a sidereal clock. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you can't look at stars during the day. <laughs> Ooh, and what are all these buttons? These are to move the telescope. I have to point, move the scope to the star or object I want to look at. Ooh, N-E-S-W. North, East, South, West? That's right. Whoa, cool. And Tom, do you mind if we like operate the telescope and maybe make something move? Sure, let's open up the dome first. Cool. Would you push that button, please? This button? Yes. All right, here we go. Really cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. And uh, what else does the telescope do? Well, we have to move the dome around. We have to point it in different directions. Huh. Wait here a second. Let me let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you think of that? Wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for showing me this awesome telescope! Glad to have you here. All right, see you later! So long. Bye-bye! Bye! Whoa, check it out! We're at the Astronomical Museum! Yeah, and at this place, they have a lot of really cool old gadgets that they used to use to learn about outer space. Shall we? Whoa, they look like wheels. Yeah, like wheels on a car. <laughs> but actually, these are wheels that are on the dome. So then the dome can spin around. So cool. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I know what this is. It kind of looks like a telescope, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, you can see stars with this, planets. Whoa, other galaxies maybe? Oh, cool. Whoops, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa, look. This is a really big piece of glass. Wow. Yeah, remember how telescopes work? Yeah, you have a mirror and another mirror and light bounces back and then eventually after it bounces off a couple mirrors, then it goes into the eyepiece. And this piece of glass used to have silver on it. So then it was really shiny like a mirror. <laughs> oh, speaking of mirrors, look, there's a mirror right over there. Whoa, whoa, hello. Yeah, this mirror came from a real telescope. A very old one, of course. Yeah, because we're at a museum. Well, shall we keep learning about telescopes and outer space? Yeah. Whoa, check it out, another telescope. And this is the 150 foot solar telescope. Solar means sun. Yeah, this telescope, you can look at the sun. Okay, before we go in, I have to tell you, never look at the sun unless you have a solar telescope, okay? It's very important, it's not good for our eyes. <laughs> good job, all right, let's go. 
Wow! Whoa! Cool! Check this out! Whoa! Look at all of these charts! Whoa, and graphs! <laughs> Ooh, and some pictures of the sun! Yeah, we're definitely in the right place to find the solar telescope. Let's see, where could it be? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Cool! Yeah, here it is! <laughs> it is so cool. And remember how I said it's a 150 foot solar telescope? Yeah, that's because the telescope itself is 150 feet tall. Yeah, that's really tall. That's about 50 meters. Whoa. All right. You never want to look directly at the sun, okay? And the only reason why we're going to be able to see the sun is because we're using a solar telescope. Not a normal telescope, a solar telescope. All right, are you ready? <laughs> oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? Yeah. This is a live image of our sun! Yeah! This light is coming down and hitting this white piece of paper. Yeah, so we can see our sun right now. This is so cool! Whoa! I love solar telescopes! Yeah! Whoa! I think we're in outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly out of orbit that can take you into outer space Maybe you and aliens will come face to face I'll take you on a journey to the stars and back Making our own way cause we ain't got no track And so we need to use a seatbelt There's no gravity We are searching for Something planetary Heading home for Earth We do it gradually Gotta get back home To humanity Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Hasn't this been so much fun learning about outer space and telescopes together? Yeah! Hey, do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Yeah, there's actually eight. All right, so first we have our sun. Yeah, and then we have Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Earth, that's our planet, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! Whoa! And all of these planets rotate around our sun. And we are in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't that so much fun today? Yeah, I had a great day with you learning about outer space. Yeah, aren't telescopes really cool? Yeah, it's so cool being able to see into outer space, seeing some planets, stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I 
P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout. Blippi. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race! Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right, let's put them on their side and then Let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's going to move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect! So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah! It's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa, I 
cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
this fire truck is so fast! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. I am so excited because we get to learn about all kinds of things. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Ring! There are so many fun things to explore. Let's go! Whoa, look at it! You know what it is? It looks like a garden <laughs> that's really fun to play in. Let's go inside. Look, there are so many different blocks and colors. Yeah, we have a blue cube <laughs> and hmm, a red rectangle. Ooh. <laughs> and we have a green cube. Whoa! <laughs> and they're so squishy and soft. Whoa! <laughs> they're so fun to play with. Woo! <laughs> it's a tunnel. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. See you on the other side. Ooh, ooh. That was a really small tunnel. <laughs> hey! Do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This animal likes to go moo. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, this is a cow. Hello, <laughs> it's so cute. Whoa, look at what it is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, it's a giant rescue helicopter. <laughs> I think you and I should go inside and check it out, come on. Whoa, look at this place. It's so cool. Whoa, and this is the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, inside this helicopter, there are all different controls of the helicopter. We have different levers and gears that tell you how fast you're going and if you have enough fuel. Whoa! <laughs> and there's all types of switches on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! And look, there are also a lot of really colorful lights that tell you what's going on. Yeah. We have a really bright white light and a green light and a red light. <laughs> well, it's time to take off. Okay. That was so much fun riding in this helicopter. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. It's a giant fire truck. <laughs> uh oh, but it looks like it's missing part of its wheel. Hello, wheel. <laughs> Maybe we can find the other side. <laughs> oh, and there are so many cool levers. Yeah, vehicles are amazing. Helicopters are kind of like fire trucks because they have different gauges, buttons that help control it and move really fast. <laughs> hey, I love the horn on a fire truck. Let's go inside and see if it works. I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. That horn was really loud. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Oh, whoa, look at this. It's a rescue boat. This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's squishy, whoa. The waves are going so fast, and they're so huge! Whoa! 
<laughs> Woo! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> the water is nice and cool. Yeah. Because it's made out of a ball pit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is so amazing. I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this. It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square. Hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, whoa, it moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big and then pop, <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> this shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. It's so fast. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it did a big jump. Whoa, whoa, and look at this. This is really cool. It's a submarine. <laughs> yeah. And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater. And it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. There are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa, look at all of the boats. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, we have one, two, green boats and we have one two purple boats and we have well we have one two three orange boats <laughs> these are so cool and if you have an orange boat and a blue boat you have blippy boats Woo! <laughs> This is so cool. There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa. And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. Bye-bye, <laughs> octopus. Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle. And it's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa, but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So 
you take the square and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! <laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself. Whoa! And you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures. Hmm. So let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And let's grab two blue squares. And hmm, we're almost done, but I think we should make two Let's use an orange and we'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blippi magnetic castle, King Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah. And when you take a gear and you put one gear next to another gear, when you turn this one, the other gear will turn too. And now the really fun part. When you take one gear connected to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun, especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> This is so much fun. This place is amazing. And look above us. It looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because when we were down there, it just looked like some islands and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, 
three. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look over here. Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh yeah, I am juggling all right. Oh, Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Blippi. But you know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. <laughs> great things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good. And then, when I'm ready, I'll go two. Huh. And Whoa. then, when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because <laughs> we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. <laughs> well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. Ooh. You like to make art? Yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> got just the thing. Come over here. We'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. You're going to want to step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right, here we go. Look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa, this place is so cool. And look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint. Ooh. <laughs> And we have some green, Ooh. and it's got some confetti in it. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, oh, this paint is gold, and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> I have a brush and some paint. And now we just need to think about what should we paint? Well, you can start with something really easy. Maybe make a gold smiley face. <laughs> One eye, two eyes, and a really big smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy! Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint! Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. It's gonna be so fun! Okay, I think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, now let's do it with some pink paint. Okay. Painting is so fun. <laughs> Especially when you can paint all over the place. <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. <laughs> This was so much fun painting with you. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Hi, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey.
Hey, it's me, Flippy. Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa, and look at all these. Wow, these are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow. This is so cool. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Blue and orange. My two favorite colors. Wow. Glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up, really hot. Yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bench. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy. Yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, it has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. They're kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not going to touch that. <laughs> Nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa, yellow, blue, 
orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. You know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold a nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Whoa. And down here. Whoa. Looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. That keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, and there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, and this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used. And they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so cool. Whoa. What are they doing? Whoa. Hey, who are you two? I'm Craig. I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What are you doing? We are blowing glass. We're making parts like to make hearts a lot. Whoa, they're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome. <laughs> Kind of look like tweezers. Do you see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why 
Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this part. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that heart. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First, I need to roll it! Yeah! Oh, that's really fun! Alright! There we go! <laughs> this is so much fun! Whoa! Alright, now we're heating it up. I chose. Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> you see how I'm spinning it? Yeah. It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa. it is very hot. Okay. Now roll it. Whoa. 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 Okay. Just keep going. And then now you can and then you can stop. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta let it cool down so that when you cover up with more hot glass that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That looks very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold. But when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey. But I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat, here we go. Whoa. Okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it. But I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay. Give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? Looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right there? Wow. Get a little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off 
of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back choke point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made! Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then, they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then, I got to make a heart. Yeah! Do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah! Blue and orange! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is! Wow! We did such a good job making this heart. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah! And then, when they were really hot, yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey. <laughs> but not honey. It's glass! <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy! Good job! All right! Bye-bye! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! It's me, Flippy! And look! I'm riding a bike! But my bike has a flat tire! Oh no! I love riding bikes! They're so much fun! But you can't ride a bike with a flat tire! Huh? Hey, Blippi! Oh, hey, Mika! This is my best friend, Mika! Hi, everyone! <laughs> Ooh, cool bike, Blippi! Oh, thanks, Mika! <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like you have a flat tire! Yeah, I was just telling our friends that I have a flat tire and now I can't ride anymore! Aw! <gasps> well, good thing we are at Spoke Bicycle Cafe in Los Angeles, California! It's a cafe and a bike shop! I bet someone inside could help you. Whoa, really? Yeah. Whoa, let's go. Yeah, let's find out. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. So you said this place has snacks and bikes? Yeah, it's a cafe and a bike shop. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa, hey, who are you? Well, hi there. My name is Dane. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Yeah, and I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you. So, Whoa. what do you do here? I'm the head bicycle mechanic. So you fix bikes? I do. 
Oh, wow. you're the person we need. Blippi has a flat tire. I don't know. Well, if you follow me, we'll get you ready to roll. Really? You can fix it? I can. All right, let's go. Yeah, come on. Whoa. Wow, this is going to be great. Whoa. Whoa, hey, cool. Hey. <laughs> All right. I now have everything we will need to fix your flat tire. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> So the first thing we will do is put your bike into the bike stand. Oh, cool. Oh, a bike stand? Whoa, this is what you had outside. Oh, that's right. It must make it much easier when the bike is up high like that. Much, much easier. Wow. Smart. <laughs> Ooh, can I put the helmet right here? You certainly can. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is remove your front wheel. Whoa. So you're going to remove the Front wheel and tire? Correct. Whoa. So we will take this 15 millimeter box wrench and loosen the axle nuts on the wheel. Wow. wow. We know a lot about bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, look at this. Whee! Well, it's a bicycle. I not want to ride a bike like that. I know. Now it's a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to take a tire lever okay. to remove the tire from the wheel. So in you're case, removing the tire from the wheel right now? Oh. You got it. Cool. And just like that, releases Whoa, cool. the wheel. Can I see the wheel? Whoa, check it out, Mika. Wow. A bike wheel with no tire. Yeah, look, a big circle. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's actually kind of light. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the next thing we're going to do is remove that tube, which is what created the flat tire. Whoa, so there's a tube inside the tire? Oh, can I check it out? Whoa, so this has a hole in it. And this is what was inside the tire. That makes sense. Whoa, oh, it's squishy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a balloon. Yeah, cool. Here <laughs> you go. Oh. So as we're now done inspecting the tire to see if there's anything stuck inside of this that created the flat, uh -huh. we're now safe to put a new tube back inside. Oh, okay, Ooh. so it's just the tube that had the hole. Yeah, so you're gonna <laughs> get a brand new tube. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, it looks flat. Yeah! <laughs> so that is this, but brand new? Exactly. Oh. So what we're gonna do is fill it up with a little bit of air to make it easier to install. Whoa. Cool. Look at it. It's getting blown up. Yeah. Whoa. Next, we will need that there wheel back. Oh, here okay. you go. One wheel. One wheel. <laughs> Thank you. And so we're going to set just one side of this wheel inside of the rim itself. OK. And this is where I like to create a dinner plate. Dinner plate. plate. Oh, I love dinner. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. So what are you doing now? I'm going to insert and reinstall a new inner tube to replace the compromised one. Wow. And you can see, once you have it set up like a dinner plate, it's easy enough to just add it back inside of the the tire. Yeah, huh. fits in nice and snug. And now we're going to reseat the other side just like that. And now we have a fully re uh, installed tire. Yeah. yeah. Woo. So, last but not least, we're going to put air pressure back into the tire. Yeah. This specific tire goes up to 40 psi or pounds per square inch. Oh, can I hold the tire and wheel? Certainly. Mika? See, we can feel the air being pumped in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. It is feeling like a normal bike tire now. Yeah, it's really filling up. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. And so when doing this, you always want to read the side of your tire first before you start to apply air pressure. OK. And that way you won't overinflate the tire. Oh, so it doesn't explode. Makes sense. Wow. That's right. Wow. Now this feels like a bike wheel that you could ride on. Yeah. Yeah. And now it is. So All last right. but not least, we're going to reinstall this back onto the bicycle wow. so that fixed. you may continue your ride. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. I'm so excited to ride my bicycle again. <laughs> oh, Whoa. There it goes. Whoa. 
Whoa! What is new? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Whoa. You are such a good mechanic, Dane. You did yeah. that so fast. <laughs> Whoa. And voila. Whoa! Awesome. Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Now I can ride my bike again! Oh, Flippy, can I ride bikes with you? Oh, that's a great idea! But you don't have a helmet or yeah, a bike! I don't have anything! <laughs> hmm. Well, the good news here at Spoke Bicycle Cafe is we both rent bicycles and helmets. <gasps> yeah! Mika, yeah. you can go! I can't wait. <laughs> oh, Ooh. can I maybe use that helmet right there? Indeed, you can. Oh, oh all right! <laughs> Wow. Here you go, Mika. Thank you. All right. We just pick out a bike out there? Indeed. All right. Let's go. Well, thank oh. you so much, Dane. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Cool. All right. See you later. Thanks, Dane. Enjoy your ride. See you later. Thank Thanks. You. Come on, Flippy. All right. Yeah. So excited to see what bike you choose. Oh, look at all of these bikes. Whoa, that wheel's really big. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and these bikes are so colorful. Yeah, I like these. I think I'll just take this one. Wow, look at the colors. Yeah, and <gasps> green, yellow, and orange. Wow, so colorful. Whoa. What did you find? I found some stickers. Look. Wow. Cool. It says Spoke Bicycle Cafe. That's Ooh. where we're at. Do you want one? Sure. Here you go. <laughs> oh, check it out. That gives me a great idea, Blippi. What? I have some other stickers right here in my bag. Do you want to decorate your helmet? That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Let's decorate my helmet before we go on a ride. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. But you also said that they have food and drinks, right? Yep, it's also a cafe. Whoa, we should probably get hydrated before we go on a ride. That's a great idea. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Hey, hello! We're about to go on a bike ride. Yeah, we're looking for some refreshing drinks before we go. Yeah, do you have any water? <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, for you. Yum, thank you! <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa! Yeah, look at all this stuff! <laughs> wow! Such great craft supplies! Yeah, let's decorate your helmet! All right! I mm. love decorating! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, Looks so like we have some stickers. Mm -hmm. Little star. Yeah, which one is that? Gold? Gold. Ooh, we have silver too. Okay. Ooh. Peel off that. Oh, it's a little tricky to peel it off. How about the one right there? Nice. I'm going to put one here. <laughs> Ooh, orange tape. One of my two favorite colors. <laughs> I knew you were going to pick the orange tape. Cookie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and these are really cool stickers. Whoa. All right. <gasps> wow. Look. Underwater sea creatures. Whoa, cool. What animal are you going to pick? Hmm. Ooh, what about this really fun dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> Can I put Ooh. it right here on the orange tape? Sure. Wow, cool. Orange and blue together, my two favorite colors. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, I really like this walrus. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, another. Animal that lives in the water. Yeah. Oh, check this out. Whoa! Do you know what I'm gonna do with this? No. Woo it's a surprise. Do you need help cutting? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. And watch this. Okay. I'm gonna put it in this hole, and then I'm gonna put it out of this, oh. and then I'm going to tie a little knot, <laughs> and I'm gonna make. Really cool ribbon tail. So then when I go super fast, it'll fly in the oh, air. That's such Whoa. a great idea. Ooh, maybe we should cut it just a little shorter yeah. though. How about right there? Like that? Yeah. There you Perfect. Go. All right. That's gonna look really, really cool. Oh, thank you. And you might be able to we try to make it a little curly. Ooh, cool. I don't know if it'll work with this ribbon, but it's a trick. All right. This is something a grown-up can help you do make your ribbon, oh, oh. it's not working. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. a different ribbon for that trick. Yeah, and here's a green marker. Ooh, all right. Let's make some squigglies on oh, that side. That's a good idea. Yeah, you're really good at drawing. 
You should try and draw. I'm gonna do a big pink heart on the back. Oop, this is oh. pink. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Let me try a different. Yeah, that Whoop. would be good. All right. One of your favorite <laughs> colors. Yeah. Okay, and I'll work on another ribbon. Whoa. Oh, it's gonna be a surprise what she's drawing. <laughs> Whoa. That is so cute of you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited to see what she's drawing? A blue heart from my best friend. Oh, Mika. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I cut another ribbon. Ooh, that one has stars on it. Yeah, I just think it'll look so cool when I'm writing really fast. It will. It'll be blowing in the wind. Yeah. All right. Check it out. All right. How does this look? It looks very good. Okay. Do you think it looks good enough? Yeah. All right. Let's try it on. Okay. Let's see how you look. <gasps> Blippi. This helmet is fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Well, shall we go on a ride? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay, we'll come back here later to clean up. You but now, it? let's go on a ride. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! This yeah. is going to be so much fun! Yes! This is such <laughs> a great day to ride bikes together. Yeah! We have cool looking bikes. Yeah! We drank a bunch of water, Ooh. so I think we're ready. Oh, I need to put my helmet on so I'm nice and safe. Oh, yeah! And we decorated my helmet, so I look real cool. You look so cool. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, check this out. I have brakes on my bike in case I need to stop. See? Oh, cool. I just pull back like this. Oh, yeah, with your hands. Yeah. Oh, and look at my bike. Yeah, I don't have hand brakes. Oh, yeah. I have brakes when I pedal backwards. That's right. Yeah, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. All right, let's go. Okay. I love riding bikes. Me too. Yeah. Especially with you, Blippi. Oh, Mika. <laughs> yeah, two people for two bikes. Yeah, it's so <laughs> fun riding bikes together. Yeah. What if there were a bike where two people could ride the same bike? <gasps> what? That would be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> what? What? Look at this. <laughs> this is a tandem bike. Yeah, look, wow. there's two seats on the spike. One, two, and two sets of handlebars. Yeah, these handlebars up front are for the person that steers, yep. and these are the for the person in back, so then they don't fall off. Yeah. Wow, shall we try it? Yeah, I can't wait. All right, two people, one bike, here oh, we go. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun riding bikes with you, Mika. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. We had a great day riding bikes. Yeah, it was so much fun decorating my helmet with you. Yeah, it looks so good. And I'm really happy that you got your tire fixed. Oh, thanks, Mika. Yeah, and it's really cool how we learned that you need to stay hydrated before you do really active things like riding bikes. Yeah, and riding bikes are great. It's good for the planet and good for your body. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yeah. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. Hey, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Wow, that is so cool. All right. See you again. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey, it's me, Pippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes on my tambourine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Whoa! Musical instruments are so fun. And this one is called a tambourine. <laughs> yeah, it is so much fun to play because you can play it like a drum. It has this outside part right here that you can hit like this. <laughs> but what's super fun about a tambourine is the back. Whoa, look at it. It has all these little jingles. <laughs> Do you know what shape this tambourine is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a circle and all the little jingles and jangles around it are also little teeny tiny circles. <laughs> yeah, those are called zills. Ooh, zills. <laughs> That's a really silly name for something on a tambourine. <laughs> it is really fun to play because when you hit it, it makes a beat. Yeah, a beat. Have you heard of a beat before? <laughs> a beat is a part of music that you can feel helps you dance along. <laughs> Playing with this tambourine was so fun. What if you and I made up a song on the spot about a tambourine? <laughs> okay, let's try. Here we go. My name is Blippi. How about you? This is a tambourine. It's brand new. Bang it on your hand to keep the beat. Feel it in your toes and move your feet. <laughs> yeah, good job. That was so much fun learning about tambourines and making up our very own song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but look at this. This table is covered with different musical instruments. Whoa, look at them all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look at this over here. Do you know what shape this musical instrument is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. And guess what? The name of this instrument is the same as its shape. It's called a triangle. <laughs> yeah, triangles are really cool and make a very, very pretty sound. Hmm. How about I hit this triangle, this little stick, and see what sound it makes. What do you think? Should I play the triangle? <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three, triangle! <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's play it again. Whoa! If you close your eyes, it kinda sounds like a little fairy. Or maybe the bell telling you that dinner's ready. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this triangle is really cool because it makes a really pretty ding sound. But depending on how you hold it or hit this triangle, it can make different sounds like this. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> maybe not as pretty, but definitely cool and would make some really interesting music. You can also hit it soft for a little ding <laughs> or really big and loud for a big ding. Here we go. Whoa, triangles are so cool. Hey, and look at this over here. What's this? Hmm, well, this doesn't look like a musical instrument because it's not a musical instrument. This is a metronome. Yeah, this is really helpful if you're trying to keep the beat and stay on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see this right here? This metronome is gonna move and tell us how fast the beat of the song is. Okay, here we go. And with this metronome, you'll see something really cool. Do you hear the dings? <laughs> Whoa, see, it moves back and forth and tells you the beat of the song. <laughs> Whoa, I'm getting a little bit dizzy after dancing like a metronome. Woo, <laughs> that was really fun. Hey, 
and it's really important to make sure you stay on beat. And something like a metronome is super helpful to keep you on time. <laughs> oh, and look at this! This is awesome! <laughs> I bet you might have seen one of these instruments before. Yeah, this is a keyboard! Or a piano. <laughs> yeah! And this keyboard is really awesome because it's an electric instrument. Yeah, this electric instrument means it needs electricity or batteries to make it work. Whoa, and look at how cool it is. It has all these keys, see? It has some white keys. Yeah, a lot of white keys you can press with your fingers and some black keys too. Yeah, in between the white keys. You can press those too to make different notes. Hmm. Notes. What's a note? Hmm. Let's turn on the keyboard and find out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa, that makes such a pretty sound. If you press one of the keys, it makes a note. If you press a different key somewhere else on the keyboard, it'll make a different note. Whoa, that note sounds different. It also makes me feel a little different too. <laughs> that note sounds pretty happy. <laughs> this note sounds a little confused. Whoa! <laughs> and you can also play songs using lots of different notes. <laughs> the cool thing about a keyboard is it has so many sounds, you can make all kinds of songs. Like, maybe you want a song to be a little spooky for Halloween. Woo! <laughs> it's like a ghost is around. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty fun though. And you can also play things that are maybe a little more classical or serious. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, it's making me thirsty for some very yummy tea and cookies. <laughs> you also can play other things instead of just using your fingers. Whoa. You can be really silly and use your whole hand. Like, if I change the sound and make a fist, I can roll my fist and play a song. <laughs> Whoa, that's a really funny song. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again. Oh, keyboards are so amazing. You can even make songs that sound magical. Music is so amazing! Hey, and when you use notes, it makes the song sound even better. <laughs> hey, earlier we made up a song about a tambourine, but we only had beats. Now that we have notes, let's sing a new song with some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Flippy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We sang a song using notes and made up a song using beats. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about musical instruments with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, good. Here we go. P-L-I. P-P-I. Flippy. <laughs> good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to keep playing some sweet tunes. And hey, this one even plays itself. Bye-bye. It's 
me flipping. And look at what's behind me. Whoa. This is a snowmobile. And this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today, you and I are going to learn about snowmobiles. Yeah! Got to ask you, what colors do you see on this snowmobile? Yeah, I see the color red, black, white, and hey, look down here. There's some silver. <laughs> hey, come back here. Wow, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown. And what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow. <laughs> But it's so cold! <laughs> Woohoo! This snowmobile is so powerful! Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah! The engine! Whoa! Check that out! Looks like we have... Oh! This looks like maybe the engine oil! Whoa! That's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh. And look at this. This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa, and look down here. This snowmobile has two skis. One right here and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa. Looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake, and we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power, all in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow. This is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Wow. That helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right. This is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it 
and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! This has been so much fun riding the snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go. Look at what we found! Yeah, we found a river! Whoa! This has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish! Whoa! I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold! <laughs> Check out this yellow vehicle! Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out! Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, the Jeep also has tracks! It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. <laughs> Snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Bye bye. just playing with this dinosaur toy. Oh, 
Whoa, I sure do love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. Yeah, and it's so cool how all of them look so different from each other. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, dinosaurs used to roam our planet. You know how we know that? Yeah, because people have found fossils. Yeah, fossils of dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? Yeah, fossils are remains from plants and, and animals and dinosaurs from such a long time ago. <laughs> well, I love dinosaurs. You and I are gonna learn about dinosaurs and maybe we'll find some fossils in this video. <laughs> Check it out! Yeah, I have a pail full of sand. Yeah, I found all this sand outside. I think we should use some of our tools to see what's inside the sand, and maybe we'll find a fossil. Yeah, okay, the tools that we have here are a magnifying glass. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that'll help us look at things nice and up close. Ooh, nice little pick. Yeah. Yeah, pick and a miniature shovel. So then we can shovel up some of the sand. Ooh, and then check this out. Whoa, it's a brush. <laughs> yep, so then we can be nice and delicate. We definitely don't want to break up the fossils. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, bunch of sand. So I think we should take our shovel, our little pick, and then do some picking, okay. Yeah, we need to break it up. Perfect. Yep, now that we're getting it nice and loose. Oh, yeah, I think I might see something. Oh, do you see that? Oh, yeah, I think we found a fossil. Yeah, it's the color gray. Huh, interesting. Whoa, look, yeah. Archaeologists love to do this. Yeah, they're the ones that uncover a lot of fossils. <laughs> Maybe you'll be an archaeologist someday. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, we found all these fossils. And then look, right here. Yeah, here's one more. Whoa. To brush it off. Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. It looks like some teeth, maybe the lower jaw. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, let me empty this. Have to stay nice and clean and organized. Okay, now let's inspect some of these fossils. Whoa, this one is so cool. This one might even be an insect fossil or something. I don't know. Maybe it's some form of type of dinosaur. I don't know. <laughs> this could be any part of the dinosaur, but I don't even know. <laughs> but I know what this is. Yeah. Whoa. This for sure is a fossil. That looks like a rib cage. Do you see it? Yeah. That's a rib cage to a really small dinosaur. Yeah. That's the rib cage. Then the whole dinosaur must have only been about this big. Whoa! Hello! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Whoa. Huh, interesting. This one kind of looks like a rock. <laughs> Who knows? Whoa! Look at this. This looks like an underwater type of dinosaur. Yeah. It's so smooth and shiny. Huh, kind of looks like a, a shell of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun digging for fossils. Yeah. Whoa, maybe next time you go outside and you find some dirt, yeah, and you have the correct tools, maybe you can dig and maybe you'll find a fossil. <laughs> Whoa, pretty cool. Whoa, I sure do love digging and brushing for fossils. Whoa, yeah, I love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? 
Yeah, they are so cool. Whoa, check out all these dinosaurs. Whoa. Hey, check it out. Do you know what dinosaur this is? Yeah, this looks like a T-Rex. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Whoa, what a scary dinosaur. Yeah, this dinosaur eats meat. Yeah, other dinosaurs. Yeah, that is actually called a carnivore. Yeah, if you are a carnivore, you eat meat. Yeah, and a T-Rex is definitely a carnivore because it has really sharp, big teeth. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. This is a brontosaurus. Whoa, what a cute dinosaur. Whoa, look at its long neck. Whoa, its long neck is really good to reach to the top of the tree canopies. Um, um, and eat a lot of leaves. Yeah, the brontosaurus is an herbivore. Yeah, if you're a dinosaur and you only eat plants, then you would be an herbivore. Yeah, like a brontosaurus. T-Rex, carnivore, brontosaurus, herbivore. Whoa! Well, hey, I think we should listen to the dinosaur song. Yeah! A long time ago on this planet Earth, before we ever existed, another kind of creature ruled the land, and this is a song for them. had three horns on their head in case they ever needed to defend. The Brachiosaurus had a really long neck and at the end was a itty bitty head. Pterodactyls would soar through the sky. Their wings were enormous in size. And if they stood up straight on the ground, they would be as tall as a giraffe. song awesome? Yeah! I love dinosaurs and I love dancing! Didn't that song just make you want to dance? Hey, I have an idea. 
why don't you and I pick a dinosaur and let's dance like it? Woohoo! Okay, what dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, yeah! How about a T Rex? Yeah, okay, I'll teach you how to dance like a T Rex. First, you have to put your hands out right here, and they don't have very long arms. So, you just act like you have some claws. Woo! <laughs> and then, you give it a big roar. <laughs> okay, hit that music! much fun dancing like a dinosaur with you and learning about dinosaurs with you in this video but this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P P I Blippi good job <laughs> all right see you again bye bye Come on everyone, let's make learning fun So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Blippi! Hello friends, it's me, Blippi! Today we're visiting animals! Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Blippi! Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh. And they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow! Oh! Whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then, the bear can enjoy it. Let's go! Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So, if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, Maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay. Oh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. 
check this out. Yeah. There's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelons. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now, let me get my container, and then we'll let the bear out, so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear, and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job. Let's check him out. And Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow. Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, it looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. 
Whoa, look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa, looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa, and down here, a stick insect, a New Guinea stick insect. Whoa, that is so crazy. Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa, even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf. But if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. And it looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. It's me, Blippi, and I'm just out exploring today. Wow, what beautiful land this is. Hey, come on. Whoa, 
Look at all this tall grass. I wonder what's on the other side. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! Today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, and this looks like a secret go-kart track. Yeah! Oh, I sure do love go-karts. Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? Yeah, they're so fast. Grabbing that steering wheel, round the corners, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I was just acting like I was driving a go-kart. Oh, speaking of go-karts, yeah, this thing is awesome. Hey, what color go-kart is this? Yeah, the main color of this go-kart is the color red. Yeah, I do like the color red. Hey, look at the number up here. Every go-kart has to have a number. So then you know when you cross the finish line if you won. <laughs> and this number right here, what number is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this number is five. Wow, whoa, this is so cool. And you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, they have some dirt and mud on them. Someone must have been racing this go-kart. Yeah, and actually these tires, yeah, they're not normal tires like on a car or a truck, how it has tread. These are nice and flat. Yeah, better for speed. <laughs> oh, hey, look. This is the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, there's so many parts. One way to turn it on is this. You pull it up and then it gets the motor turning and it turns it on. Provides the power so you can go fast. <laughs> Whoa, back here, look at this. This is a chain and this is how the engine provides all the power to the rear wheels and tires. Whoa, I am so excited to ride this. Oh, speaking of riding it, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sit. This is the seat. Oh, it sure does look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo, and this is the steering wheel. Do you see when I turn the wheel, it turns the wheels and tires? Whoa, that looks fun. Oh, and last but not least, right up here. This is where you put your feet. Push down right here for the brake. And on the other side, this is for the gas. Speaking of gas, yeah, the engine needs gas. And right here, this is where you fill it up. Okay, it looks like we explored the whole go-kart. So it must be time to drive and race the go-kart. Oh geez, I am so excited. Yeah. Huh? Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. I need all my safety gear. Three, two, one. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, my safety gear. Yeah, I have my helmet on, my goggles, my gloves, and that means I am ready to race. Yeah, you have to wear a helmet so then it keeps your head nice and safe. You have to wear gloves so then you can hold on to the steering wheel nice and tight. And you wear, yeah, the goggles so then dirt and mud doesn't flip in your face. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to turn on the go-kart. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, make sure everything's turned on. And remember what I said earlier? We need to give it a pull.
Oh, hey, look, another go-kart. And this go-kart is the color black. And its number is five, eight, nine. Whoa, hey, who are you? Kylie. Kylie? Well, it looks like you're my competition. Are you ready to race? Yes. Whoa, looks like Kylie is ready. Oh, hey, another competitor. Oh, what's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? Whoa, are you ready to race? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Whoa, that sounds like some tough competition. All right, looks like Lincoln is ready, looks like Kylie is ready, and me, Blippi, is ready to race. All right, let's start those engines. out! Yeah, that was so much fun, driving this go-kart and racing this go-kart. Oh geez, this red go-kart. Yeah, the red number five go-kart did me so good today. We had a safe day riding go-karts together. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, I should probably take another lap. <laughs> See you soon, bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Flippy.